know, cancer, not, it doesn't spontaneously erupt. Nothing in nature, nothing in biology is spontaneous. But when you understand how a cancer forms, how cancer establishes a happy home in the body, then you can intervene in these different places and begin to back a person out of what got him into trouble in the first place. These are all um, therapeutic protocols you can do. Um, we have the cancer timeline. That's the uh, protocol the protocol that's going to be in the American Nutraceutical Society Library now and available to all of you. Um, it's a way of looking at the cancer timeline. And she's going to tell you more about how that was developed, what it's actually doing, and run it up here. Um, but looking for some of these things, is a, it's a very simple, easy thing to do. You want to be thinking about this. You know, Is there a way that I could identify that this person is in the cancer timeline on top of everything else you're doing? And would that lead me to do something a little different than I might do with them otherwise? Um, giving them tools to do what they know how to do. You know, all of the things we talk about in terms of intervention are really supporting the health of the body. It's not, uh, you know, the, the whole approach Western medicine makes is, you know, making war on the tumor, making war on disease, making war on the symptom. I mean, it's all, even the language, it's all about fighting and war and attack and destroy. And, um, and I will propose to you that that's not, in cancer anywhere else, not the best solution for making somebody well. Um, and just detect it before it becomes chronic. And there are Natura formulas, and so part of the way we treat, this was one of the things that Bill found in looking, Bill Curry, in looking around the world, looking for what people were doing. Um, he found Dr. Huang in China, and this a long family history in that family, generations upon generations of creating herbal formulas specifically for dealing with cancer, and these are widely used in China. Um, and because Bill was able, uh, he, was, he was kind of a gruff person at times, but he also uh, had a lot of integrity, and so they <coughs> agreed to allow him to import these things. So these are things that uh, only American Nutraceuticals has a contract to import. But Dr. Huang, he, his family has been doing this since 1200 AD, and uh, it's not on the slide, but the most seen television program in the whole world was a 20-hour documentary they made about Dr. Huang in China, which has been watched. Uh, I don't think they're showing it now, but that holds the record as being the most watched television program ever in the world ever. It um, was about Dr. Huang and his family. Um, and, you know, over 4,000, these were, this was one study that was done um, treating people with these methods and 83.5% uh, effectiveness, effectiveness being the way we talk about effectiveness, five-year survival, disappearance of tumor, things like that. Um, and I'm not going to propose that you start treating everybody with these, but you could. You, know, you, could, you could use them. There are, very, there are people doing alternative treatments for cancer where this is a mainstay. It works. You've got to do a lot of other things to take care of their health and their diet and everything else, but this is a, the Naturas are really an important product in this. But I mentioned the Natura is here because part of the way we do the screening is we take, I mean, people, people here, are people here pretty much familiar with the Zyto? You've got, okay. Um, one of the things you can do in the screening is you can look at a person's response to the Naturas. Do they have a positive response when you screen for the Naturas? And then you can dose the Naturas. And if they have a positive response and they dose well, meaning they, they need, you know, 10, 12, 14 of the Naturas a day, um, then you have to ask the question, well, why would this person's body be craving an herbal formula whose really the only purpose of it is to treat cancer in a given system? So there are nine different systems that Natura deals with. And that, that's, that was how the, the cancer timeline and the screening uh, protocol was originally conceived. Lisa's gone a long way with some of the ways they have for uh, designing protocols now inside us. So she'll explain that to you. I'll leave that. But... Um, this is all in your handout. I'm not going to go through this, but uh, Natura 101 is lung, Natura 201 GI, 301 kidney and ureter, 401 ductless gland, so that would be breast, prostate, thyroid, uh, 501 bloodborne, 601 lymphoma, 701 sarcoma, so that's skin tumors, muscle tumors, 801 CNS and brain, 901, uh, sorry, um, 901 is uh, a rather unique product that um, 
when someone tests for 901, they almost always have cancer. So that's, uh, but it's, it's one that you wouldn't, if somebody had some imbalances in their lungs, uh, they might take 101 for a while. If they had, if in the way you were running up, working up the testing, they tested for 901, you might even go further and start looking for where is this tumor, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, and this, again, this is in your, uh, my interest in this was kind of, I had uh, two of my advisors when I was an undergraduate in college were medical residents, and um, they got tapped to go off with Nixon and Kissinger as part of the entourage that followed them to China when they wanted to reestablish and renormalize relationships between the United States and Mao Zedong. And they came back really excited about what they'd seen in the hospitals there. Um, because China was, you know, Mao was educated in the West. He was really fascinated with Western medicine. He realized that he wasn't going to be able to treat the billion people that were now depending on him using Western medicine because all Western medicine knew how to do even in the 50s was pharmacy. And nobody was going to give him a good deal on pharmaceuticals. So he set out to resurrect the, um, the kind of native medicine of China. And, and, you know, one of the reasons, you know, we may look at Mao and we see communism and all of this, but the reason Mao was so embraced is that he ended a 1,400-year period of war and chaos where there had been no scholarship, there had been no universities, there had been just a mess. And so people said, if you can do that, we'll give you the benefit of the doubt and we'll kind of see where you go with this. But um, he resurrected acupuncture, the herbal medicine, and things like this, and that became the medicine of China. It became an export. They started exporting it to the West. But, um, you know, I had some of these references. A lot of the newer drugs in the last 30 years that we've had here came from these herbs that have been used in China to treat tumors for hundreds of years. So um, they were picked up in what pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical companies do with things. They looked at the active ingredient, they modified it a little bit, they patented it, they call it a unique thing. But uh, it was a lot of this, these kinds of early work looking at uh, herbs used to treat tumors in China that led to a lot of the drugs that we're still seeing produced today. Um, you know, and again, this supporting and increasing the immune system, you know, basic stuff, this is all really important, whether you're dealing with somebody who has just fatigue you can't explain or whether they have a big tumor in their lungs. Um, and getting them out of the seesaw of being up and down in terms of their immune system, you know, if they need to quit their job, if they need to, you know, go off and do what it takes. But, you know, people have to be willing to embrace health and make the changes in their life that are necessary to do that if they're going to survive.